Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to discuss regarding Damage Control Orthopedics, DCO. In this part 1 of Damage Control Components, I am going to discuss regarding polytrauma and polyfracture definition. Regarding ISS, Injury Severity Score, and AIS, Abbreviated Injury Scale Grades, when is the three peak of death during trauma, the physiology of damage control orthopedics, and finally regarding SIRS, Systemic Inflammatory Response Syndrome score. How do you define polytrauma and polyfracture? Polytrauma typically used for severely injured patients with at least two or more severe injuries in at, at least two areas of the body. Definition by Pepe et al. 2012 Polytrauma refers to severely injured patients with two or more significant traumatic injuries with a total injury severity score ISS of more than 15 or an abbreviated injury scale AIS. AIS Again, polytrauma defined as AIS more than 2 in at least 2 injury severity score region. So, what is polyfracture? Polyfracture is defined as patient that has fracture involving 2 or more long bone fracture, only skeletal fracture involvement without any other major organ involvement. So, what is ISS, Injury Severity Score? ISS is the first scoring system to be based on anatomic criteria. ISS defines as injury severity for comparative purposes. To calculate an ISS for an injured person, the body is divided into six ISS body regions. Number one, the head and neck regions, including the cervical spine region. Number two, the face region, including the facial skeleton, the nose, the mouth, the eyes and ears. Number three, the chest region, involving the thoracic spine and diaphragm. Number four, the abdomen and pelvic contents including the abdominal organs and lumbar spine region. Number 5, extremities or pelvic girdle at the pelvic skeleton region. And finally, number 6, the external regions. The calculation is based upon the abbreviated injury scale, AIS, whereby 0, no injury sustained, 1. Minor injury sustained. Number 2. Moderate injury sustained. Number 3. Severe injury but not in life-threatening condition. Number 4. Severe injury in life-threatening condition but the survival is probable. Number 5. Severe injury whereby patient in critical condition, the survival is uncertain. Number six, maximal injury, possibly fatal injury, that may lead to death. So how do you measure the ISS, the injury severity score? ISS is the sum of squares of the highest AIS grades in the three most severely injured ISS body regions. Based on the formula, ISS is equivalent to A with the power of 2 plus B with the power of 2 plus C with the power of 2, whereby the A, B and C are the AIS cause of the three most severely injured ISS body region. The scores can be arranged from 1 to 75. Single score of 6 on any AIS region results in automatic score of 75. 
if you are asked in Viva, what is the three peak time of death post trauma? How would you answer? Pause a bit. Now, the first peak usually occur within minutes of the injury. Patient has immediate death. Death is due to major neurological or vascular injury. Patient has poor prognosis with medical treatment can rarely improve the overall outcome. You can see from the graph taken from Gerard M.3 by the current diagnosis and treatment in surgical book in surgery 14 edition, the first peak has a high immediate death within 1 to 2 hours post-injury. The second peak of death, or we call it early death, it occurs during the golden hour. Death usually occur due to intracranial hematoma, major thoracic or abdominal injury. Primary focus of intervention for the advanced trauma life support ATLS methodology. The third peak of death or late death usually occurs after days or weeks. It is usually due to sepsis or multi-organ failure. Damage control orthopedics DCO focus on 1. Control of hemorrhage 2. Management of soft tissue injury 3. Achievement of provisional fracture stability while avoiding additional insults to the part. DCO topics is wide, so I will cover regarding physiology of DCO first and regarding SIRS, Systemic Inflammatory Response Syndrome. So, what is the physiology of damage control orthopedics? When patient develop trauma, the traumatic injury will lead to systemic inflammation, SIRS, Systemic Inflammatory Response Syndrome, followed by a period of recovery mediated by a counter-regulatory anti-inflammatory response, CARS or CARS. Severe inflammation may lead to acute organ failure and early death after an injury. On the right-hand picture, the graph depicts regarding the systemic response of the body with the time after the injury. If balance is achieved between the SIRS and CARS, the recovery will occur eventually. A lesser inflammatory response followed by an excessive compensatory anti-inflammatory response syndrome, CAS, may induce a prolonged immunosuppressed state that can be bad to the host. This concept explains why MODS or multi-organ dysfunction syndrome develops early in some patients and later in others. Within this inflammatory process, there is a fine balance between the beneficial effects of inflammation and the potential for the cause to be aggravated. When the initial massive injury and shock give rise to an intense systemic inflammatory response syndrome, this one hit can cause an excessive inflammatory response that activates the innate immune system including the macrophage, the leukocytes, the natural killer cells. The inflammatory cells migration also enhanced by the interleukin-6, interleukin-8 production and complement components, complement 5A and complement 3A. Regarding systemic inflammatory response syndrome score, SIRS, again, SIRS is a generalized response to trauma characterized by an increase in cytokines, an increase in complement, and increase in hormones. 
It is a marker for an individual generalized response to trauma that likely has a genetic predisposition. How to diagnose patients having the systemic inflammatory response syndrome, SIRS? We need at least two or more of the following criteria. Number one, temperature of more than 38 degrees Celsius, whereby patient having fever or hypothermia, whereby the temperature is less than 36 degrees Celsius. Number two, heart rate more than 90 beats per minute, whereby patient has tachycardia. Number three, the patient is tachypneic with respiratory rate of more than 20 breaths per minute or PCO2 less than 32 tau. Number four, the white blood cells, WBC cells, of more than 12 times 10 power of 9 per liter, whereby patient have leukocytosis, or less than 4 times 10 power of 9 per liter, whereby patient have leukopenia. Two or more is equivalent to SIRS. If patient only have one criteria, patient unlikely to have SIRS. S. If patient has two criteria, usually patient has mild SIRS or systemic inflammatory response syndrome. If patient has three, we need to consider patient has a moderate SIRS. And if patient has four, fulfill the four criteria, consider patient has a severe systemic inflammatory response syndrome, SIRS. Okay. That's all for today. I hope you have gained some knowledge from this video. Till we meet again, see you and bye.